you want to. Right. But not too, like, not over me. Just give him a little just back on the Back to the box. I was thinking to myself, I was thinking to myself, I'm I'm gonna be 32 and 0 at the end of this month, right? Okay. So it might be time for me, you know, to have somebody an heir to the throne. You know what I mean? But I still, you know me, you know me, I'm an overthinker. I like to think about everything in detail. I mean, I'm, I'm even thinking about the day that my little man come. I'm like. Do I circumcise him or uncircumcise him? So naturally, you circumcise him. Right, I would. But then, you know, my lady mentioned something to me. How did you hear about the story about the doctors who tried to circumcise this one boy and they cut his dick off? I said, wait, wait, they cut his dick off. What do you mean? Oh, I was shit. like, I was like, did he die? She said, no. But the family had to decide. Either to leave the dick cut off and raise him, yeah, raise him as as a female, and that right there threw me off. I didn't even hear the other option, you know what I'm saying? But to make a long story short, to make a long story story short, they decided to raise him as a girl. But later on, they they kept you know they kept up with him and they realized that uh, he couldn't understand why he didn't like boys, why he wanted to wrestle all the time. But fuck all that. I mean. You know, God, my feelings go out to him, but how you cut off his dick? Damn. Like, and let me tell you right now, let me tell you right now, let me tell you right now, let me, before you say what you're going to say, then that made me just realize, you know what? My boy's not getting circumcised because I don't want to deal with that. And I asked, I said, well, they, they must have got a check, right? She said, nah, because, you know, when, when you're in surgery, you fill out forms and that they're covered. So I said they didn't get a check. Their boy's dick got cut off and they're raising they're raising them as a female. That's fucked up. I couldn't sleep for two nights. I was on YouTube looking up what happens if you don't circumcise a boy. I was I was I was I was just I was on WebMD saying what is the actual nerves? I'm fucked up right now, man. I might not have so no kids. You, you wanna circumcise your son? So you want him out here with an ant eater out here? I don't want his I know, dick. I, know, I don't want I his dick cut off either. True. I know a lot of uh, like foreign chicks, like others and shit, like Dominicans, Puerto Ricans, you know, yeah. South Americans and all that shit. Like they used to fucking with niggas with that don't got uh, circumcised. That got that extra uh, foreskin. Nigga be having six inches of foreskin, two inches of dick. <laughs> Bro. I said come out like a little turtle head, nigga. Bro, they said <laughs> they said in the past they did it because of for hygiene reasons and religious reasons. Now they saying that in the 1930s, 20 percent of guys in the U.S. is getting cut. In the 2008s, it went up to about 60 to 70 percent. Don't quote me, but it was it was high. But in the last few years, it's been going down because insurance companies are are, are no longer covering it because. They realize there is no real health reason for it. People are just getting it because for cosmetic reasons. So now, whoever's born is getting cut for cosmetic reasons. So that's why now that percentage, that 60, 70 percentage, ha percentage has went down. But I don't know. If, could you imagine, what, Doc? What would you do if your son Dick got cut off when he was born? Give him up for adoption, like any. Regular human being would do. I mean, because nine times out of ten, he was almost aborted anyway. So, oh my god, you know, <laughs> that's well, a really? fucked up sick. Fam, like, no, like, I mean, you, you're not lying. You ain't lying though. You said, no, nah, you saying what would I? I don't know. Fam. I don't want to talk about that shit. That shit kind of depressing, man. Like, I just, you know. You know, I just God's willing. You know, everything is everything, and everything is where it should be. Look, but, look, like, you, you my know, man. I just wanted to share with you something that was on my heart because I'm ready to have a little air, you know, a little no, junior no, running, no, a little tight like running size. around. You know what I'm saying? And but that's bothering me. You my man, Doc. Like it don't matter. I know you graduated from from two year college. You got your Ulumi Kuli, Ulumi Kuli, Adi Kuli, Adi, whatever it is. But you know, me and you, we always have open transparent conversations I wanted to share that with you I'm scared I'm scared 
These doctors, I gotta find the best hospital in New Jersey, cause I can't have that happen, bro. The fuck is that about? Nah, uh, you can't even think like that, but, but nigga, he can't call his shit a mushroom head. He can't call his dick a shield. Like, what do you call an uncircumcised dick? Like, besides like an anteater or some, some wild shit. Like, nigga, you can't even, like, you can't even do good pranks on an uncircumcised dick. Like, Say for you try to draw your uncircumcised dick on the chalkboard, like what the fuck are you gonna think it is? No. Like you can't, what if you trying to spray paint a dick on a wall or somebody's car or some shit like that? Like what it, but the only reference you have is your uncircumcised dick. What is it gonna look like? <laughs> and look, and you draw it and nobody know what it is. You trying to how you trying to roast somebody else and you like, yo, look what I did, look what I did. They like, we don't know what that is. You know what I'm saying? We don't, <laughs> We don't know what Frank's drawing on that wall. They just pull They pull you in the principal office, Frank. What are you drawing all around school? Why are you drawing blocks? Twisted up blocks all over Detroit, Michigan. Yeah. But I'ma tell you like this. I'ma tell you like this, Doc. If it's between my kid walking around uncut and his dick being cut off. He's just gonna be an uncut motherfucker. Like, there's nothing else to talk about. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but, yeah, at the end of the day. But hold on, I, I, I really got something I, I wanna ask. You been seeing all Me Too shit on the social media? Like, Me Too, all these chicks saying Me Too and all this? <laughs> nah, what's that about? <clears throat> it's about this nigga in Hollywood, Harvey Weinstein. He got a. Uh, everybody is just exposing him for being like a big time pervert and shit like that, or for sexual assault. But everybody is saying every little thing that he did was sexual assault. So now chicks is right. Me too on their Facebook. Me too as if they got sexually assaulted. By so him or just by him or people in general? I mean, it started with him and all these these superstars like Winnie right. Paltrow right. and shit like that. Like mega superstars saying like he sexually assaulted them because he, he was in a position of power, right? Yeah, yeah. So I start I reading these uh, sexual assaults. And this shit just sound like niggas trying to get pussy in the 90s. Like, bro, the way they define sexual assault right now, nigga, we all be in jail. Because I mean, after I'm, the first time a chick say no, you're supposed to stop and get consent. Get consent. What the fuck? Nigga, consent was when you slid that thing in and she made that breath like, ugh, that gas. That's consent. Con yeah, that That's was consent. consent. Consent was when she finally let your wrist go when you was trying to stuff him down her pants and she finally let your wrist go. Bro, ain't like, that ain't yeah, that like, the best school? Ain't that the best though? When they just like no, the when best, they like no, but not on not on no rape culture, no, but like no, I don't know. Like my mother about to no, I can't like da, 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 you and, and then you put that head, that helmet in that in that warm right. cave, in that warm it's snug like cave. Helmet. Huh? I said, right, not the ant eater, but the hell <laughs> You put the shield in there. You put that in there, bro, and they, they just, they, ah, ah. Bro, That's it, like, that bro, was, that, I'm telling you. like, I spent the whole summer, and that's all I wanted to hear. Every summer, that's why, I mean, that's what I want to hear all the time, but I'm saying, during the summer, when we was young, when we was boys, that's all I wanted to hear. Like, I want to hear that gasp, that gasp. Or that ouch. Yeah, Ouch. but like now, everything is sexual. So one, one chick said, yeah, he came to the door in his robe and he asked me to jerk him off. When I said no, he, he was very persistent. Oh, this nigga gangsta. Uh, he gangsta. sexually assaulted too. This, no, was, this, this the Hollywood piece. director who's saying this? No, this is what one of the, uh, like a Hollywood actress. Well, they were like, saying that he did, it's that he did. It's superstars, nigga. Yeah. I can't believe you ain't heard this. Like, it's superstars. No, I heard it. I just, didn't pay, I just didn't care, but you making it sound interesting. No, uh, because he is in a position of power. Now, it's like 50 chicks that have came out said they were sexually assaulted, whether they really were or they weren't. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Can I slow you down right there? If, 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 if a chick fucking jerks a guy's meat, that's not sexual assault. How could that be sexual assault? May I interject? No. That's yeah, I, well, yeah uh, I wanna, go ahead. Well, if he's saying that, if he's requesting it and she says no, and he's forcing her, like, you know, he's being persistent with the request, yeah. then yeah, it comes off as sexual assault. If she didn't give consent to it, then it's... How can you force somebody me, to jerk you off? But imagine me walking around, some guy says, Magda, can you jerk me off? I'm going to shoot him. Okay, and I say no. I say no. I'm not giving you that type of no that's like, 
No, but you know, I'm giving you the stern no. Well, like there's no room, there's no possibility. Let me put it to you like this. Let me put it to you like this. Uh -huh. If I hear that you uh, you come to me like, oh man, this guy forced me to jerk him off. Yeah. I'm going to punch you on your forehead. If I actually do it, exactly. Yeah. But I'm saying if the act is someone coming up to me and saying that, that's you would feel some type of way. It's sexual assault in a way. You get what I'm saying? But I, get, I get that. I get that. But I'm saying the women who are actually jerking this guy's beef jerky, that's not sexual assault. Right. That's not sexual assault. That, I don't think it, that's it, sexual it, assault. Fam, the definitions are all twisted now, fam, because <laughs> what feminists are saying is that because he's in a position of power, because he's a man and he's physically stronger than her, that she felt like compelled or that she was in danger if she didn't jerk him off. Therefore, he committed sexual assault after the jerk off. Fam, it's fucked up out here, nigga. Shit in the 90s, nigga, all them videos. Nigga, uh, Dr. Dre uh, spraying 40s on bitches and shit like that. Nigga, it's, it's none of that shit flying no more, dog. It's over. Like, it has, to, it has to be consent. And I'm just saying, like, times has changed. Like, like the way shit is going, like, everybody's gonna be a pussy. First of all, these niggas don't even know how to talk to chicks on the phone no more. Niggas just start off texting and shit like that. Sending dick pics. Talking all the emojis. Yeah. Nigga, I remember back in the day, it wasn't even gangster to send an emoji. It wasn't gangster to send a winky face. Nigga, it was straight. I just started winky. sending emojis you two years ago. You coming over to work ago. tonight, exclamation. You want to know, wink eye, blush face, shit like that. Yeah. I mean, I use emojis now, you know, yeah. when they're wrong. But I'm just saying, back in the yeah. day, that shit... That's like, but I'm saying these niggas don't even know how to talk to us no more, but... My man, my man, just, my man just had a, my man just had a beautiful baby on Facebook, man. He put up, I'm talking about like one of the most beautiful, beautifulest baby, most beautiful baby I ever seen. And I left, and I hesitated before I left the hard eyes. And I was like, damn, I can't, why am I hesitating? Like, I'm a man's man, you know what I'm saying? I got nothing to, but I, long story short, I left the hard eyes, but just a simple fact... you want to communicate as well, though. Huh? You're a communicator, though. Yeah, exactly. But it was just funny the fact that I hesitated to leave hard eyes on a beautiful on my friend's beautiful baby's picture. Like it was just crazy. You know what I mean? But listen, and I think that. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm listening. Go ahead. I just think that that's that's just because of the area you kind of grew up in. You did You grew up with like the only outlet we had was like AOL and chat rooms and just cursing racist white boys out. They called them calling us nigger and we calling them crackers and shit. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Like and now like the shit is a whole different beast. Yeah. But I did want to ask you something. Like What's up? with the there's a quote with absolute power comes absolute corruption. Mm -hmm. So going back to this Harvey Harvey Weinstein character, like he was in a position of power to put people in blockbuster movies, right? Okay, okay. So it's fifty women coming out saying that they were sexually assaulted by uh, by him. But what about the thousand that sucked his dick for free to get a, a part in a movie role and shit like that? You dig what I'm saying? Yeah, like, so yeah. he that's the culture of Hollywood. Like, it's down there. It's probably dudes that don't have to get that and gave blowjobs to uh. Man, Channing Tatum done suck a nigga dick to get in the role. Jesus Christ, you think so? Yeah, Channing Tatum, man, I don't know, man. I'm talking I mean, shit, but I'm I mean, just saying, like, of, they basically saying, like, that's the culture, but not everybody want to be all hyper, like, what is it called, politically correct, and say Listen. that they get sexually assaulted. And I'm not making, a, like, this is a this is a, a program, yeah. you know what I mean? So I'm not trying to make light of sexual assault or sexual abuse. I'm just saying, like, there has to be a clear-cut definition, you know what I mean? Yeah. Right. of you, what that is like you can't you can't just say like right now even if you go if i go out and have a drink with a chick at a bar and we both drunk and then we go back to her crib and we fuck and she wake up in the morning and regret her decision um back in the day that was called a win now it's called like damn near rape yeah because she was the drunk one no that was a good fucking time like Bitch, you're not that cute either. Like, I don't fuck plenty of bitches. Like, I woke up and was like, why the fuck did I do that? Like, this look. fat bitch. You know what I mean? Look, look, but as, now, as the, as the like, years progress, as the years progress, technology is gone on a, on a, on a, on an all time new level. Sensitivity is is at its highest. Racism yes. is rearing its ugly head. Fucking taxes going up. It's less jobs. You know what I'm saying? We money is about to turn into Bitcoin. Uh, fucking attention is equating to to compensation now. You know what I'm saying? The more attention you get, the more 
money you'll make. It's a, but the thing is, yeah, man, yeah, that's just kind of heavy, bro. It's heavy. It's heavy because I'm a heavy guy. I'm I, I, I'm way I weigh about two sexy, and I'm about six feet tall. I'm a Scorpio. Catch us with.